A service was held today at the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire to mark 75 years since the Battle of Monte Cassino. The battle was a series of four assaults by the Allies in Italy during the Italian campaign of World War II, during which more than 55,000 Allied casualties were reported. Also at the Arboretum, a smaller service was held to honour a regiment that many people might not know about. The Glider Pilot Regiment was formed in 1942, flying gliders full of troops and equipment behind enemy lines. The skill and bravery required to fly these missions was incredible, and those attending the service today want to ensure that the actions of the regiment are never forgotten. It was a regiment of volunteers from the Army, where only the very best made it through training. Incredible feats of flying that saw unpowered aircraft landing troops, artillery and even tanks behind enemy lines. The pilots then took up arms and fought alongside the troops who'd just been their passengers moments before. Those in the regiment became known as total soldiers, willing and able to fit into whatever role was required. Today their bravery was honoured at the regiment's memorial stone with the families of those from the regiment paying tribute. I think it's absolutely crucial because what they did was actually something quite amazing and incredible and very few people know about them. It's such a small regiment and when you tell people, you know, they, they flew gliders, planes without engines into enemy territory, you know, <laughs> they think they're mad. We do as well. <laughs> but it's, it's very important that we remember them and a lot of remembrance is due to making sure the next generation know why peace is so important. The regiment flew for 15 years, from 1942 to 1957, and took part in some of World War II's most important battles. Just after midnight, minutes into D-Day, six gliders landed at key bridges in Normandy. The troops carried by these pilots were some of the first to liberate French soil. I mean, they were all army soldiers, so they weren't RAF pilots. They were taught to fly by the RAF and they were towed into battle by the RAF, but they were, they were army soldiers. Um, so they had all those skills already that uh, uh, an army soldier would have. So they'd fly the aircraft over to the landing zone and then once they landed and they got out of the glider, they'd fight as infantry with everybody else. There's fewer than 50 veterans from the regiment left and the organisers of today's ceremony, the Glider Pilot Regiment Society, want to make sure that the unique way they helped the war effort is honoured and remembered.